The only thing that's better than an Indian samosa chaat is a pink samosa chaat. First, you'll need some hot and crispy samosas. These are homemade Punjabi style samosas. You can find the recipe for them on my blog. I always fry them ahead of time and then reheat them in my air fryer. Next, we'll air fry some spinach leaves. These are baby spinach leaves, which I've thoroughly washed and dried. Drizzle with a little bit of neutral tasting oil and salt. We'll air fry them until they are nice and crispy. The crispy spinach leaves are not a traditional topping for chat, but I love the flavor and the texture that they give. The flavors of the spinach and beetroot also pair perfectly together. The thickest and creamiest natural yogurt you can find. This is Turkish yogurt and it makes for a super creamy base for our beetroot yogurt. Blend up some cooked beetroots. It doesn't matter whether they are in vinegar or not. I actually quite like the sharp flavor of the vinegar. However, you can also use vacuum packed regular cooked sweet beetroots. Add the beetroot paste to the yogurt And then we'll season this up with some chaat masala, sugar and salt. Give everything a good whisk to reveal the beautiful pink color. I'm also going to whip up a quick green coriander and mint chutney. I'll add a link to the full recipe in the description box below. India's street food culture is as prolific as it is delicious. There are many different types of chat. Alu chat, Papri chaat, dahi puri chaat, bhel puri, and of course, samosa chaat. And this recipe is a mashup of my two favorite chaats, samosa chaat and palak patta chaat. The latter is a relatively modern style of chaat. It features deep fried crispy spinach leaves. The spinach is first dipped in a batter of gram flour and then plopped into hot oil and fried until crisp. You may need to adjust the consistencies of your yogurts and chutney with a small amount of water if they're not runny enough. The word chat simply means to lick, which is particularly fitting for this style of messy eating. No one knows for sure, but it's likely that samosa chat was created as a way to repurpose leftover samosas, which are often made in large batches. It really is a story of how leftovers can be turned into such a joyful and vibrant crowd pleaser. Here I'm piling my samosas with all of my chat toppings, which include cooked chickpeas, our beetroot yogurt, the plain yogurt, that delicious green chutney, some chopped onions and red chilies, as well as some sir and bundi, which are very traditional of most chat dishes. They're simply fried gram flour snacks, which you can buy in any Indian supermarket. Make sure you drench the samosas very well with the yogurt and chutneys because this will provide much needed moisture and a burst of flavor. Finally, we'll top this spectacular samosa chat off with our crispy air fried spinach. All that's left to do is to dig in. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then it would be a great support if you did. Please like and share this video and leave me a comment below to tell me what type of chat you think I should make next.